We have learned all the terminologies. Suppose there are two reinforcement learning algorithms. How do we evaluate the algorithms to see which one is better? OpenAI Gym is a toolkit for developing and comparing reinforcement learning algorithms. It is the benchmark for evaluating reinforcement learning. It is like the ImageNet data for computer vision. Gym has several types of problems. The first and simplest are the classical control problems, such as card pole and pendulum. In the card pole environment, we give the card a force towards left or right so that the pole can be upright. In pendulum, similarly, we give the pendulum a force so that the pendulum becomes upright. Atari games are the second kind of problems. They are the most popular. Pong requires the control of the paddle. The paddle is the agent. You can move the paddle vertically. The goal is to get the ball and try to make the opponent fail to get the ball. In Space Invader, you control a laser cannon by moving it horizontally across the bottom of the screen and firing at the descending aliens. The laser cannon is the agent. In Breakout, you can move a paddle horizontally. The paddle is the agent. Using a single ball, the player must knock down as many bricks as possible. The third kind of problem is continuous control tasks, including ant, humanoid, and half cheetah. The physical simulator is called Mujoko. It can simulate gravity and other forces. The AI will learn to control the robots to stand and walk. You can use Gym to evaluate your algorithm and compare your algorithm with the existing baselines. You can use this humanoid for evaluating your algorithm. In the beginning, the neural networks are randomly initialized. The policy makes random decisions, so the humanoid always falls. After some iterations, it becomes able to stand and hold it for a few seconds. After hundreds of iterations, the agent can even run. With more training, the policy gets better and better, and the agent runs longer and faster. Here I show you how to use Jim. First, Follow the official document to install Jim. Then, you can import the Jim library in Python. Function Jim.make can generate an environment. In the parentheses, you specify the name of a control problem or a game. I wrote carpo in the parentheses, so the environment is the carpo control problem. The function returns object env. ENV is the environment. Look at the figure. The environment uses Newton's law to compute the movement of the cart and the pole, based on the position, velocity, and force. We can control the agent to interact with the environment. First, use function env.reset to reset the environment, so the cart and pole will go back to the origin. The reset function returns the initial state. Then, repeat the for loop for maybe 100 iterations. This line of code, env.render, is not necessary. If we execute this line of code, then a window will pop up. We will see the animation. In every iteration, we need to make a decision. The decision is an action. Here, I don't know a good policy. So I randomly sample an action using this line of code. However, if we have a good policy, then we can use the policy to make a decision based on the state. Next, the agent executes the action. Using function env.step, we tell the environment that this action is executed. The environment will return the new state, reward, down, and info. Here, down means whether the game has ended after this iteration. If down is true, then it means we either win the game or lose the game. 
so we need to break the for loop. If the game has not ended, then we continue the next loop.